Hi, Lorraine here from Jada's Agency. In this video, I'll show you how to create a blog with blog posts within System EIO uh, without us using the templates provided. This is part two of the blog video series, so please check out the other videos in the playlist. I'll start off by showing you some blogs or websites created in System EIO that have blog posts within them. So this example of one, Dena Foods, what we did here on the landing page was yeah, different sections of the landing page and then we've got the blog post has recipes. So you select any of the recipes, it's literally a blog post. Okay. And then we've got please quizzes. Yeah, so we created the header, it's got a hero section, and then their quizzes are blog posts. So we select again any of the blog posts, and then you get more details of the blog post here. Okay. Should, thought to show another one. Funnel, funnelvibe.com and what they've done here is on the page we've got this section here with the opt-in section and then you've got the blogs or blog posts listed here and the beauty about this you can filter by category so for example if you want to see only posts that uh, have the category email marketing select that and you only see the blog post relating to email marketing okay so that's the sort of thing we are going to do create blogs or a website with blog posts not using the templates provided by system but being flexible in exactly how we want our pages to look like so let's have a, a start <laughs> okay so Log into System EIO as usual, and we select create a blog. By the way, what I'm going to show you, you can do it on the free account. All right, so let me just show you this. On System EIO, on the free account, you get to have one blog or one website with unlimited blog posts. This is awesome. And you can get one custom domain. So you can literally um, hook up your domain to your website and have unlimited blog posts. That is beautiful. The link is in the description, by the way, if you want to um, create an account within System PIO. All right, so back to it. Select create a blog. Let's give it a name. So let's say JDS APC. At this stage, you have to select a template. There isn't any blank template, so you select a template. Though we're going to, in this video, we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to have more flexibility within your uh, pages. All right, so we get into it, get into the blog or the website that we just created. And by default, system creates five blog posts, four pages, and three categories okay now we have selected a template and what you now do is you go into blog layouts so remember blog layouts every page within just exit that every page within the blog if you specify to use blog layouts every page will use the layout specified within blog layout okay so if you select blog layout so at this stage this is what the layout is so if we want to be flexible or have our own uh, pages what we can do is um, the flexibility is here what we can do is edit this blog layout to be what we want it to be the system has blocks um, let's say I want um, a header let's drag so drag and drop drag the header here I can delete the one that was previously there okay delete that so that's my header let's give it this put in my logo okay. all right that's our logo and set that So that's massive. Let's reduce the size. There we go. 
and our menu items you can change that so let's say this is home change my library to about us change about here to blog yeah and let's add another menu item and let's say contact us okay and for the blog menu item when you select it we want it to go to the post list page okay so that's that so we have the blog content here let's change our footer let's add the footer you can create your own footer i'm just using the blocks within system io and why not okay so let's delete what was previously there okay there we go delete the rule delete the section there we go. so that's our new footer let's put our logo in there Again, that's massive reduce that no choose the size beautiful okay so this is how we want our pages within the blog of the website to look like if I what I can do is let me add another section at the top here just for fun yeah and i will put a background color of purple Let's make that by purple beautiful okay and what i can do is reduce my bottom padding reduce my top padding there we go okay so all right so every page within a blog would have this structure so save and exit so let's have a look so if you go to any page that indicates use blog layouts and have a look we should have the header there we go the header and the footer beautiful okay now what we can now do is make changes to both the home page and the post list page we cannot delete the home page and the post list page. So for so in this case, that means we have to make edits to them two pages. But the about and the contact, we can delete them. Okay. So for the home page, let's make some changes there. So on edit, we can delete the sections that were created when we selected our template, and then we can add whatever elements we want to it. So there we go delete all the sections and there we go so we have the header and the footer which we cannot make changes to we have to make changes in the blog layout so on the home page let's um add say a hero section you can literally create it by adding sections and rows but system has some blocks which i'm going to use for because of this video so i select welcome so let's use that one drag and drop beautiful let's say i want to have a um, page that shows about my that shows information about my services i think it's in features there we go services and let's say i want to show information about my team members so i think it is in team presentation there we go put that there and the very reason why this video is i made this video really is to show you how we can add uh, blog the blog uh, blog posts or list of the blog posts and this is where you can add that information um, the blog post listing is what we're interested in and when it on the page is how it is and then we can make changes to it so if I select that first of all i can choose the layouts which layout i want so i probably want this layout so there are different layouts i can choose so i want this layout and i want to only show three blogs okay so scrolling through what do we have here so postcard settings so what we want is we want the image above the text all right and we can indicate whether we want borders on the postcard uh, i think we can leave that. actually let's say let's put it let's put a border let's just put a border and see how it goes and the style style of the border there we go okay um 
then what we can also do is to for the images we can add a shadow so let's put a short shadow there and what we can also do for the images is we can change the border other indicate whether you want border radius and change the margins of the images so moving on to title change the font size of the title so let's say we want it to be 30 the line height there we go so you just play around with it and see which one you really want yeah so if you go there let's turn that back so we'll say 27 yeah, that's better okay font type what font type do you want so it's Roboto by default but you can also change the font type you can put Google fonts and you can also upload your own fonts yeah but uh, in this case let's say Google fonts open sans and that's the font style beautiful and letter spacing as well uh, yeah so let's change that back to zero okay change the alignment of your title change the color and change the uh, margins so i think on my left i want more more of a margin on my left i think okay it's not that one i think it's this one no, i think it's this one oops <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry, I want it on my left. There we go. So it's system A. Yeah, it does it for you. I didn't have to guess. Okay, so I've given it a five on my left. Okay, description. All right, font size. Let's reduce that to 20. Talk about the line heights. Yeah, okay. And I want my font type to be Roberto. That's fine. You can also change the alignment. I'm happy with the color. Let's also change the margin. All right, so change that to five, similar to the title. And for categories, categories, our font size is 18. We can reduce that, increase that however we want to. Let's do the font type. Again, change the alignment if you want. That's the color. And I'm very similar to the title and the description i will change the margin to five and i think i want this the the category to be a bit lower so let me change the bottom actually it's the top yeah give it more there we go i can indicate whether i want to show the dates there we go of the blog posts and pagination yeah so the active color i can say right i want the active color to have to be the text to be white and the background color to be purple for example okay and we're happy with the inactive color text and the inactive color background and this is the margin for the entire thing and the padding all right that's a blog post listing all right so what i'm going to do is i am going to save this blog post listing has a as a block. Yeah, so if I save it and give it a name, so JDOS blog post listing, and I'm going to save it as a master block so that I can use this block in any of the pages within the blog or within the website. And as I've selected master block, it essentially means if I make changes to the block within any page, all the pages will be affected. Okay, I'll, you, I'll show you, you'll soon see why, what I've done here, uh, why I've done what I have done, all right? So select create. Okay, so the blog post has been, uh, the, the page is coming together. Okay, and let's say, before I get to the header, let's say i want a an opt-in element so i'm going to add that one for example there we go okay so that's how my page is looking like save it i can preview it okay this is how the preview looks like you can get rid of this preview to see how it will look like in live when it's been released all right so you can see how flexible it is Okay, beautiful. All right, so that's that. So that's my home page. 
so you can add different elements to the home page and not necessarily use the template provided by system the next page that you will need to edit is the post list page because like i said it cannot be deleted so i select select it and i select edit this is how it looks like now remember the block i saved which is under my master block which is this one okay i can move it onto the page and i can delete the one that was previously there okay there we go so very similar to how we view the home page the block list page will have can get rid of that preview would have the header the, the posts and the footer and so you can create another page so for example let's say you want to call this research insights for example here yeah. indicate what the url is okay and within that you can say to use the blog layout we have specified what the blog layout is to, to use the blog layout edit it and then i mean it's 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 really flexible you can add different blocks to it okay so if you want to add a, a, a hero hero section or maybe we should add one that has a video there we go and then if you want to add um, one that has testimonials for example yeah so testimonials and then you can just build whatever you want and like I said you can use the elements to literally build whatever you want on the page not necessarily using the blocks but I like using the blocks because um, it makes creation and design faster really okay let's save changes and exit wonderful so and if you now decide you don't want to if you create a blog page and let's call this um, test if you say okay for that blog page we don't want to use the blog layout yes yeah, so actually are you sure you don't want to use the blog layout you confirm yes if we go on to the test page to edit it so you will see that it does not have the header it does not have the footer so you can literally create specific pages that you don't want to use the blog layout and put in whatever you want to put in for that particular page really okay so that's how you can create a website or a blog that has blog posts within it without having to use the templates provided by system okay so before i wrap up this video i just thought to show you um to introduce you to funnel, funnel vibe what they've done here is essentially provided templates blog and websites templates yeah and with this you can get up and running really quickly on system e um, and i thought to just show you what is provided really and you can get some blog templates okay and blog posts pages right and it also comes to the contact us page and also a squeeze page and the thank you page um, so once you get inside access of this you, you have templates that you can walk off walk from very easily so you can set up your website with blog posts very easily okay so i thought to show you that the link is in the description if you want to be able to get access to this this blog templates yeah blog and website templates link is in the description okay just thought to show you that okay so watch out for the next video as i wrap up the series i think i'll be talking about how to make your blog and your blog post seo friendly within system eio all right then Thank you for watching. Bye.